So I guess somebody asked me about a person who felt so broken by life that they could never be okay again. I'd, I'd want to know a bit more because through my own experience, um, when I came across these principles, I thought I was broken. I thought I was faulty. Um, I'd suffered from eating disorders and depression, low self-esteem, lack of confidence. Um, I used to drink heavily because it's the only way I could be animated in a social situation. Um, I actually thought there was something wrong with me. There was something wrong with me. I couldn't do life like everyone else. There was something so wrong with me that the only way that I could sort of dull that was to drink quite a lot and then try and be in life, but still, I still wasn't the same as everyone else. There was something different about me. There was something wrong. Um, and what I came to see, which still amazes me now, the, the depth of that insight changed my life almost overnight because I went to the course broken and unfixable and I came out whole and it didn't mean that I didn't still sometimes feel shy or still sometimes think about my eating or my physical self even though I never made myself sick again I didn't starve myself again those thoughts still came but I was hopeful for myself because what I realised is that we've been living in a world that actually doesn't exist. I lived in a world where people could be broken. And after understanding the power, the nature of life, I realised that it's not possible to be broken. The only thing that can happen that we can think we're broken and then we experience that so it will feel we will feel broken that's all it ever is is thought creating a feeling so if someone is at the stage where they feel broken or faulty I would just ask them to Uh, look within, because what was so incredible about those three days is that I suddenly saw all the times I had been resilient and all the times I had overcome things and all the times I had felt okay. But this feeling of brokenness and not okayness wasn't there 24-7. Where was it when I was enjoying being out with a friend, that I got so caught up in my conversation or their conversation or story that I was just in the moment with them experiencing. Where was my brokenness then? So, so to get a sense of self, to look within and to see those times where you forgot that you were, thought you were broken. That, I guess it was the reflection for me over those few days that there were times I forgot that I was broken. And in those moments, I wasn't broken. So that was really interesting to me. It was. It was life, it was life changing. There is no one that cannot reconnect with their health, with this power that we all have, this nature. There is nobody that cannot connect with that on some level. And we're not looking a certain experience all of the time 
it's just realizing our true nature, our essence is untouchable, it's unbreakable. And I don't know, for me, I realized I'd always, I'd always kind of had a sense of that, but I hadn't trusted it. I, I got too lost in my own thinking. But it was almost through my reflections, I just had these glimpses, these snippets, these moments of times where I, I saw it. And I was like, maybe I am okay. Maybe I could be more than this. And at those times, my thinking would then get involved, no, you're definitely broken, this is terrible. But they were still there. And the more I became interested in those kind of, of thoughts of hopefulness and possibility, it's opened up this whole new world. And I feel if... I could feel as bad as I felt to the point, you know, where as a teenager I really did think I don't want to be here anymore and actually attempted to not be here anymore because I felt so bad and so broken that if I can find my well-being and my health and my clarity, then I feel anyone can. But those thoughts of broken and lost and faulty and wrong and hopelessness, they have been replaced by new thoughts. and because of the nature of thought that's possible for anyone at any time no matter how dire their situation there is always a potential for new thought and I would ask people to to really just keep looking within because we as human beings we have so much knowledge and understanding and wisdom within us that we can find our own way back to well-being, back to health, because it never went away. We just covered it up with thinking, thought upon thought upon thought, and they all, they're all, in, they just, they have no form, they have no substance, so they can dissolve. And... Don't listen to my words, my explanation. Find your own voice, your own words, your own truth, your own sense of the truth, and let that guide you.